Hey, what's going on guys? Arctic Zero here. Today we're going to be going over the Cupid's Battlefield update, which just came out February 8th. My laptop still says February 7th. Different time zones, I guess. Um, anyways, I've already read through this update, but I'm just pretty much going to hit on the, the key um, factors and give my opinion on some of the stuff um, that I've read throughout this. Um, so first off, what they talk about is um, the new milestones that are going to be coming out. Uh, Cupid's Battlefield milestone heartbreaker milestone basically what this is is this is the free way to unlock cyclops um winning blitz battles uh using a limited time valentine trait so i would assume that'd be like scarlet witch and like vision would have that anyone who's got like a couple thing going on <laughs> um probably phoenix cyclops um so that's gonna be if you use those in blitz you'll get credits for that and you'll be able to open the ruby heart orbs which get you Cyclops character shards. Um, and there's going to be uh, Ruby Heart Orb fragments and some of the Blitzes as well. Uh, Spider-Man's going to be coming out to you uh, through Blitz, not Blitz, sorry, through Milestones as well. Um, so kind of like the Milestones we have right now, but he's going to be uh, in those Milestones as well. So make sure you're getting, you're spending all your gold and using as much energy. Well, not all your gold. Spend as much gold as you want and use as much energy as possible each day to, you know, get as many uh, Spider-Man symbiote shards as you can before the milestones end. Graviton is coming to the War Store, which I am very happy about because I'm at like 89 out of 100 for him because I didn't go insanely hard in the Blitz, so I fell short uh, when he came around, so I missed out on that. But now I'm finally going to be able to unlock him, and now I can actually uh, put into aim because aim without Graviton isn't, you know, a really good team. It's kind of basically just on the same level as a Kree team. It's like, yeah, it's good, but it's not as good without him. So now he, that's going to be huge. Uh, him in the War Store, I'm definitely going to purchase that a few times until I unlock him. Phoenix event's coming back. So uh, this time, if you have Hela at six stars, which I doubt really anyone who's not, uh, anyone who's free to play probably doesn't have Hela. Maybe someone does. Um at six stars but hell is available to use in the next legendary event so if you've managed to get her to six stars somehow uh you can use her to unlock phoenix uh hopefully all you guys have farmed up these characters to six stars i know i have and i'm looking forward to unlocking phoenix very much so because now i can use her with cyclops so that's great uh upcoming blitzes so we're gonna see um a mr fantastic blitz first off which is pretty good because uh they've made He's farmable, but he's still rather new, so it's going to help accelerate it, especially with Pyro um, also now being in the arena store. Uh, he's kind, They're kind of getting a gap, so this is going to help bring him back on track to get them to an uh, equal star level. Um, there's going to be, for some reason, they're adding a four-hour cooldown for that, so, you know, more time for your Blitz charges to refresh. Um, but after that, it's going to be the Vision Blitz. Um, which was the one that everyone picked when they voted uh, Vision or Scarlet Witch for the Blitz. And obviously, you know, I, could, I already knew Vision was going to win because Scarlet Witch is purchasable in Arena Store and Vision is only available in Campaign Notes, which uh, that Campaign Note is pretty high up too. So I knew, I, I, know, I remember having a difficulty unlocking that when I was uh, not as strong as I am now. So that'll be good for the people who don't have Vision or anyone who wants to power him up, myself included. Mercenary events, they're bringing back the Gold Rush. Uh, Killmonger ability update. This is pretty big if you went into this. Um, so basically, the text was wrong. So his, uh, I think this was his basic. Um, it said it did 330% damage at level 7. And now it says 240% damage. So apparently it's always been putting out, uh, out the same amount. Um, see, it says reflect the correct amount. So, but uh, the text was wrong, but you know, if you do want to go back on it or maybe you regret upgrading it and you just want some orange mats, if you contact customer support within the next two weeks, so you have two weeks from now, uh, you can ask uh, them to revert it from level seven to level six and they will give you uh, those uh, ability mats back so you can upgrade into somewhere else. Uh, challenge tier updates, I, I do want to go over this because I think it's a little bit ridiculous, uh, the difficulty level, but they've added all these new um, 
these new tier levels, and let me tell you, they are hard. Uh, not only to mention the 12 one requiring gear tier 14, which, you know, is okay, that's that's fine. But the recommendations it had for uh, the one requiring city, I think I had like everything it recommended and I was getting smacked and I was like, whoa, <laughs> like I like, I don't know. It was pretty difficult. I, I definitely want to showcase them. Uh, probably going to do that on the weekend when they're all available. That way I can do it all at once. So coming this weekend when they all are available, expect a new video coming out after that. Econ economy improvements. Um so they've added an additional row of orange gear to the item store, and it's got in a slot with improved chances to see uh, the, the special items required for gear tier 14. They've increased the gold drops in the gold orb and added a 2 million jackpot to the side pillars. Um, in the basic orbs and the premium orbs, they've increased the gold drop in those as well. Um, and they've added a row You've probably already seen this if you've checked it out, but in the raid store, there's now a row of orange gear uh, that you can purchase with raid credits. Now, last update, I did say something on the lines of this, which I'm very happy to see that they did something. I highly doubt that they saw my video, but um, something that I had mentioned in my last video was the price of the orbs was a little bit ridiculous. I think the purple gear was costing around 3000 and the blue gear was costing around... Uh, Sorry, the purple gear was costing around 6000 and the blue gear was costing around 3000 Something like that. I th or, or was it blue for 15 Anyways, it was it was very expensive, and I didn't think it was worth it. But uh, coming this update, uh, orange gear orbs are only going to cost 2,500 credits. Uh, blue gear orbs are only going to cost 1,000 raid credits. And the purple gear orbs are only going to cost 1,500 raid credits. So that's a lot better than what it was. Uh, very glad to see that, because I... I Never purchased those orbs, like never. <laughs> they just weren't worth it. Um, and they're still going to look to improve the economy elsewhere. Uh, farmable characters. So they did Namor, who's farmable, and they just are having the uh, Graviton come up in war. And later on this month, uh, Colossus. Um, yeah, Colossus is going to be available later on this month. Colossus, his long-awaited arrival expected later this month. And they say uh, pretty much they plan on continuing to release two characters a month, but sometimes they may fall short uh, just depending on the pace of the game. But they hope to uh, make that promise uh, come true. Um, they talk about red stars here pretty much. They're trying to figure out how to fix red stars. They understand that there's a lot of... Uh, you know, concern about the RNG and red stars and uh, how uh, I saw this video OMG had put up about this uh, red star simulator and I had gone to the website and I was messing with it and I was at the price that I had it set which I think was around three dollars I think per per orb I think I was spending around five thousand dollars before I would get a seven red star so every five thousand dollars I was getting a seven red star so that was just where I had the money set but still yeah, I think it was only like $3 an orb, which sounds about right for red stars. Maybe that's a little cheap, but it was ridiculous, like $5,000 for every seven uh, red star before you got a seven red star. That was, that was just ridiculous. Um, and uh, yeah, so they're going to have a blog on February 21st revealing more details on the red star orbs, but they have nothing uh, set in stone yet, so they don't want to make any speculations or putting put anything into the game when it hasn't been fully tested so they're gonna do that so there's gonna be another update uh, two weeks from now so look forward to that as well uh, but that's uh, my two cents on this update if you guys have any questions or want to discuss anything in this update go ahead and just comment it down below and we can definitely talk about it um, I'm very active to responding to comments as soon as I see them so go ahead and drop a comment down below if you like this video and want to see more uh, just go ahead and hit that like button, and if you want to get notified, hit that subscribe button. You should get a notification. If you hit that little bell or something, I don't know if I I should have a little bell. You know, I don't I don't really know. Just subscribe if you'd like. I appreciate uh, all the support my channel's received recently. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. My name's Arctic Zero. Peace out.